really matters is trying to understand the right questions to ask. Elon Musk's plan to colonize Mars sounds to many like an unrealizable mission. But with the help of his colleagues at SpaceX, this can turn into a reality. If they manage to make the human race interplanetary, it will be the most ambitious and expensive project in history with a price tag of up to $10 trillion. The current timeline of Elon Musk's plan to colonize Mars and have a look at the cost of performing such a massive mission. The initial thoughts of colonizing Mars started back in 2002, when he was in the process of selling PayPal and thinking about what the next big thing could be. There are no clear reasons on why it landed on building rocket ships and exploring aerospace. However, this spark got ignited when he realized that none of these space programs included anything about exploring Mars and its mysteries. Instead of being discouraged, Musk started to think about how he could make the journey about this near impossible idea financially possible. It all started out with the initial idea of placing a small greenhouse packed with dehydrated nutrient gel that could be rehydrated to grow small houseplants. This may sound a bit weird, but this is a peek at the very first life on Mars. The invaluable data on how to keep plants alive in a rough climate combined with the extraordinary photographs may excite us about space travel becoming legitimate. Elon Musk had no expectations of turning this project into a project with profits. If the financials allow it, he says it will be worth the expense. However, he quickly realized that this was not possible because the cheapest US produced rocket ships cost $65 million each and that he would need two of them. He was informed about the Russian made ones, but quickly let that pass despite that the cost of each rocket was below half the price at $20 million each, but the technology from the 1960s and questionable reliability. The reason we're not at Mars yet is not because we don't want to, but rather a hefty price tag. No one is standing in line to give on $130 million for a project that most likely won't be profitable and with no clear plan. The mission about going to Mars became more about improving the current rocket technology and making them more cost effective rather than reaching the destination. At some point, we will be able to transport people to the destination and hopefully back again. The development of this currently lies in the hands of SpaceX and its rockets are the bare bone to what potentially can be achieved. Elon Musk has stated that if everything goes according to plan, SpaceX's first rocket could head towards Mars anytime soon and the idea of a self-sustaining city can be a reality as early as 2050. What SpaceX has done until now has paved the way to Mars for the others with countless satellite launches, hop tests and rocket technology development. All this has made Musk believe that we'll be able to form a habitable and self-sustaining environment on Mars. As a result of Musk and his team testing pace and the result they're getting, it seems like SpaceX is the perfect candidate to perform the Mars mission. In the last couple of years, they've had great success with the launch of Starlink satellites, and as of September 2022, there are more than 3,000 of them orbiting. As the population of Earth is growing at a record pace, at one point, it will be too crowded here. This is one of Musk's why behind the Mars mission. The next important, yet very difficult question, is how. How do we know what it takes to colonize Mars? How are we going to survive in such a harsh climate? Well, Musk, on several occasions, proposed different scenarios on how this mission will be done. There are a couple of things that have to be in place in order for us to maintain a sustainable life on Mars. The first thing is transportation. Somehow, we need something that will transport us and our supplies between Earth and Mars. The first step that makes it more economically viable to do these type of launches is reusable rockets. Unlike NASA's single-use rockets, SpaceX has marked the importance of reusability of the rockets. Musk has plans of reducing the cost of launching rockets down to 10 million US dollars per kilogram of weight, which increases the sustainability of doing these types of launches. Elon Musk plans to launch at least three reusable starships per day, each one being able to carry approximately 100 tons of payload. With the help of 1,000 starships, it's estimated that it will allow for transporting around 100,000 people every 26 months. 26 months has been calculated to be the optimal length of the Earth-Mars orbital sink, which aligns best for transportation. In order for humans to be self-sustained at Mars, Musk has calculated that we need around 1 million. This is to have enough people to build, manufacture, and produce what we need to survive without heavily depending on supplies from Earth. 
The second thing that needs to be in place is supplies. Anywhere we go, we are dependent on having access to get supplies. Therefore, humans will not be the only passengers of these starships, but cargo also. For all the bare necessities to movie theaters, and let us not forget about vitamin C, all of these things are essential, but they require space, and space costs money. Elon Musk has multiple times emphasized that one of the key things to have in place for unlocking the colonization of Mars is the ability for the colony to achieve self-sustainability. There are chances for situations where the supply ships may not be able to reach Mars due to unforeseen circumstances, putting the colonization at risk if they're not self-sustained. For the first few runs, SpaceX has planned two uncrewed missions to send cargo, such as life-critical support systems and power generators. After the initial missions, SpaceX plans to send additional two cargo ships to set up a propellant production plant, but also with a crew this time. The third thing is terraforming. Mars is, as we know it, quite harsh and inhabitable. There is barely oxygen or water, and crazy dust storms are not a rarity. At this point, yes, it is inhabitable. However, Elon Musk believes that through the process of terraforming, there is a great chance that we continue the human race on Mars. So, how does he plan to start the process with terraforming? The one meta that stood out from the rest was to drop thermonuclear weapons over the poles. <laughs> You're a super villain! Actually nuke Mars. Although this sounds like an absurd thing to do, there are scientific reasons behind doing such a thing. By nuking Mars's polar caps, it would potentially release both water vapor and carbon dioxide into the Martian atmosphere, which can start the process of emulating a greenhouse-like effect and would slowly increase the temperature on Mars's surface. However, scientists consider this plan to be quite infeasible for several reasons. One reason is that the number of nukes needed for doing such would exhaust all the nuclear warheads on Earth today. A second reason is the concern about not creating enough carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere to actually emulate the greenhouse-like effect effectively. The last thing that has to be in place is actually the legal stuff behind all of this. There is an established space law concerning the agreement governing the activities of states on the moon and other celestial bodies. That one needs to follow. SpaceX has also deemed Mars a free planet and, therefore, has rules and legislations of its own, disparate from Earth. Elon Musk has openly proposed that there will be no Earth-based government asserting its authority and sovereignty of Martian activities. When can we expect missions to Mars by SpaceX? If you're interested in knowing more about the solar system, take a look at our videos about Planet 9 which is shown right here. And if you have any topics that you want us to cover, let us know in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did like it, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon to stay notified. And we'll see you in a new video. Take care.